Yeah, unfortunately, it's a really uh, scary and horrible situation that we saw this afternoon. Now, behind me right now, we're on Hefner. You can see where crews have set up there, the flashing lights. This is about as close as we could get to their crews. They tell us that things are unfortunately starting to pick back up again at this hour. That's why they are combing this entire area, making sure that they can get rid of any hot spots. And speaking of hot spots, if we can see right here, there's one that just picked up a few moments ago right next to us. Uh, you can see the flames kind of going. Crews again have been going up and down this area, making sure that we are putting out any of these hot spots that might be picking up into the overnight hours. While we were out here earlier uh, this afternoon and this evening, we met a gentleman who was trying to flag down some brush pumpers, trying to get them to come to his property because again, one of his trees on his property went up in flames again. He was worried he was going to spread to his property. We spoke with him about his efforts to try and save his home from this destructive fire. For more than eight hours, Pat Garrett has been doing everything in his power to try and keep his house and more of his property from burning down. He took firefighters to a hot spot that had flared up right next to his house on Hefner near Eastern. It flared up behind the dam and I didn't want it to get in the cedar. Garrett says he was home when this massive grass fire first sparked around two Friday afternoon. The fire came out of the west and just was boiling. With firefighters scrambled elsewhere, he says he used whatever he could to try and keep the fast moving flames from reaching his house. I had a hose for a minute and then the water went out when the electricity went out. And so I got uh, some towels and soaked them in the uh, pool and was batting them with that and then I got a hole and a shovel. Our crew saw how thick that smoke was from this fire. Garrett says he couldn't see but a few feet in front of him. That's pretty scary, you know, and that much smoke, your smoke inhalation, I was worried. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and there's nowhere to go. I was fighting just to, to breathe at that point. And as he continues to watch for more hot spots throughout the night, he couldn't help but feel for his neighbors who lost everything. And yeah, guys, back out here, we can see the Oklahoma City Fire Department and their brush pumpers have made their way to our area right now. They just stopped right here. Again, you can see they have their hoses. They're getting ready to put out some more of these hot spots. Again, we're told that they're going to be out throughout this entire area, Hefner, Eastern, that neighborhood throughout the entire evening. We are told, though, that the evacuation order that was mandated, or the evacuation order that went out earlier this afternoon has since been lifted. They are allowing people who live in these homes to make their way back here. But again, as we saw, unfortunately, a few of these people, their homes are a total loss right now. And again, we will continue to keep you updated throughout the night as the Oklahoma City Fire Department works to continue to, to contain the flames.